My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, today we celebrate the birthday of our church since the church was officially inaugurated on Pentecost. It was originally the Jewish Harvest Festival to remember the reception of the Torah at Mount Sinai. The Greek word Pentecoste means 50th, as it was celebrated 50 days after the great feast of Passover. In the New Testament, Pentecost comes 50 days after Easter. It is the celebration of the coming of the Holy Spirit on the first Christian community. The New Age of the Church begins with the baptism in the Holy Spirit. The coming of the Holy Spirit transformed not only the life of the disciples, but everyone who accepted the gospel of Christ. The book of the Acts of the Apostles describes clearly what happened on Pentecost Sunday in Jerusalem. They were gathered in one place and were praying. Then the Spirit of God descended upon them like a mighty wind with tongues of fire. There appeared to them tongues of fire, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, says the scripture. Then they began to speak different languages. In the book of Genesis, the people quarreled during the building of the Tower of Babel because they did not understand each other. In the New Testament, the people who speak different languages are united since they understand each other. It is also a sign that Christianity will be a community of people speaking different languages but are united in Christ. The original and true face of the church was visible at Pentecost. We need to bring back this spirit into our church community. In his first sermon, Peter was telling the people that the coming of the Holy Spirit marks the beginning of the Messianic Age. It will come to pass in the last days, God says, that I will pour out a portion of my Spirit upon, upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. Our church here also needs this anointing so that our young people may see new visions and our old people with new dreams of hope. We need to follow and imitate the church as it was on Pentecost by rekindling our lives with the flame of the Holy Spirit. The apostles carried the loving message of Christ to the ends of the earth, and everyone understood their language. They cooperated with God to renew the face of the earth in the Holy Spirit. This is completely the opposite of wars, diseases, and hatred that we see in the present world. The fire of the Holy Spirit does not destroy humanity, but
but rebels into better persons in God's love. The Christians who are willing to live with the help of the Holy Spirit must become messengers of God's love in this world. Pope Francis, while speaking at the morning Holy Mass at Casa Santa Marta in the Vatican on 30th April 2019, said that Christians must allow themselves to be guided by the Holy Spirit if they expect to live a Christian life. Let us pray that God may breathe His life, the Holy Spirit, into our souls so that we may transform this world into a better place for everyone. Thank you.